Okay. Okay, hello everybody. We're back with another video. And this time we got the cinnamon bun Oreo. Hopefully you guys get to see the cinnamon bun Oreo cookies. Wow. These, oh, well, it, it, they, now they made them easier to pull apart. But we're not ready there. So, uh, is this a limited time only? Nope. But it says it's a cinnamon cinnamon cookie cinnamon bun cookie so it is not in that it is not in a limited time only so let me as you can see that's it and wow that is that's cool so let's open it up what really nabisco what i think i got cheated I, look what nabisco nabisco really look they cheated me like out of like two Oreos. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see it, but they cheated me out of like two Oreos. I, 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 ho I hope you guys can see this, but as you can see, it looks like there's more. Hold on. That is crazy. Look, as you can see, there's like more up here and less right here. Look, see that? There's nothing hiding. Look, I'm going to try to open it up as best as I can. See? And look at this one. There's still more to the top, but whatever. So that that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of to me cheating, or giving me less than what I I deserve. And I found them at my local Target. So that's cool because Target has many many kinds of Oreos, different flavors, different kinds, and all kinds of stuff. So this is the Oreo, and let me. I, I'm sorry, I didn't even smell them. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got so into it. Oh, yes, it smells so good. Okay, sorry that, sorry for what just happened, but that's, that's it, so. Oh, yes, Oreo. There you go, Oreo. It smells so good. Now let me give it a taste because Maybe I'm ranting or something. So let's see how good they are to an original cinnamon bun that I get at my local bakery. Because the cinnamon, I think the cinnamon bun, I don't know where I get them. I don't know the, the name of the place that I get them. I think it's called Auntie. Auntie or something. Auntie's pretzel? No. I don't think it's Auntie's pretzel or something like that. So, let me give it a taste. Right here, in the thin box. Because I don't want to have roaches. I don't want to have roaches here. So. Oh, oh man. Wow. It, it totally tastes like I'm eating a cinnamon bun. Wow. So as always, so as always, I did the the taste test first without the milk, and then I got my cup, a regular cup. I didn't want it to have any any design or anything, no logo. Just that. See, it's the regular cup, and we got our our milk, and as you can see, it, this time it's blue, it's not red like other times, but. I'll serve some here, a little bit, mm, it's pretty good, pretty good, the Oreo or Nabisco always knows how to get the taste of the Oreo, like say they come out with, uh, uh, let's say they come out with, I don't know, uh, okay, they come out with strawberry Oreos. And they make them taste like strawberry, and then they come out with the version, like say, they come out with, I don't know, candy cane Oreos, or that peppermint, the peppermint one that's like a round candy, and it's like red and white, it's like a little round one that looks like a hall, like a, those halls, or round, I don't know how they do it, they make everything taste the way they say it, it does, so, here it is. So let me give it that little swirl. As you can see, it's 
it's soaked okay it's soaked now let me give it a taste with the milk wow wow that is so good mm. wow one more oh yes wow No more. No more. No more. No more cinnamon bun. No more. Ah. Damn. Ah. Ah. It's a cinnamon Oreo. I can't believe this is so good. Oh man. Oh man. Oh lord. Lord, this thing is so good. I can't I I can't believe that I can't believe Nabisco made some such a good Oreo cookie. It is by far one of the good ones. And I gotta say this again, it's really good. So whoever wants to try these out, I recommend you guys try them out because it's good. It is something I can recommend and say it does taste like a cinnamon bun. I taste that that uh, I don't know the coating that they put on top I don't know if it's like kind of like I don't know what what it's like a glaze on top and it just so does it I don't get how they do it but it, when they say when they give it a name they know what they're doing but yeah so one more just one more just one more with milk and I will that's just crazy how the Nabisco does it, so. Get out of here. Get out of here, cinnamon bun Oreos. You are good, but you are, it's too much for me. Okay, so let me finish my milk. Man, I gotta say, this is one cookie that I give it a definite yes. A definite yes. It's not a maybe. It's not, and it does taste like an actual, or oh, it it actually tastes like an actual cinnamon bun. That is, the that is the weird part is that when they say it's a it's a cream sandwich or it's a I don't know it. A, I don't know whatever flavor they come out with and then it's like yes it, it does it does taste like that that is so crazy I can't believe they do that how is that possible but like I said I give them that one and I have to I, I guess I'm gonna have to hide these because wow they're really good and they smell good so what I'm gonna be doing next is I'm gonna be putting all these videos that I'm I'm making all these Oreo videos I'm gonna put them in a playlist so you guys can find them easier so you guys can decide which ones you want to try which ones you want to which one which ones you think are good and which ones you think are uh, like no why why did they make them it's like saying why did you make these kind of cookies and yep so I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna make a playlist so you guys can watch them, and please, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I know that everyone says this, but please do so. It will just make me feel much better of myself. And I'm doing this as a way for you guys to know more things, like say this is this item here is rare or something, or say. This thing has been discontinued, but I brought it back. Look, this is something I recommend for you guys. But whatever. So, 
thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. No, no way. I cannot eat this because it's like, it's like me eating, I don't know, candy or something, but it's so... Okay, it's not, it's not good at all. It's more of an orange bitter taste. So for me, I would say this is like an orange flavored. But I gotta say this, I think now I'm gonna say this is worse than even mocha. I can't believe I even tasted these. These suck. These are the worst ever. They should be discontinued right off the bat. So I'm gonna have to taste. Oh man. This is even worse than. Oh man. It's just so gross. I can't even eat another one. Ugh. So. For anybody out there that's going to say that this thing tastes good, guess again, it's horrible. And, oh man, ah, I got an aftertaste. I'm going to just... Oh. Okay, so instead of me having to do this taste test, I'm cutting short. I'm sorry, I'm cutting this short and saying this doesn't taste nothing, nothing good. It is so horrible, horrendous. I don't even know what else to say, but it's straight out worse than anything I've ever tasted. Even mocha was better. So, I'm sorry, but this milk is not going to waste. And this Oreo, like I said, I don't recommend anybody trying this. But if you want to try it out, then that's on you. And I am sorry to say this, but Nabisco... Get this off the market. It's just straight out sucks. But like always, these videos have just started, so don't don't worry. This is the beginning of the Oreo taste test and review and all of this. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys get to see me. And if not, then well screw it. I did my best so maybe it's not that bright today or something but as you guys can probably see I have two new Oreos I'm going to be doing today so let's start it off with let's start it off with this one so today I have two I have the caramel cocoa Oreo flavored cream so there it is there it is let's open it up for you guys That's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like. Uh, uh, for all those that are watching this video, that's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't smell that that interesting. It doesn't smell that interesting. So let's let's see what it looks like. So here's the Oreo. Very very, uh, like peanut butter sort of thing. Look at it. Hold on. There it is. Let me taste it. Let me get another one. And this time just like yeah, and, and I, for, I forgot to tell you guys, we're doing the normal dippy dippy. Right off the bat. Caramel coconut Oreos, definitely, oh, they're, they're, they're horrible. 
They're horrible. If you guys are, are paying attention, these things are horrible. There you go. Horrible. These things look, I mean, they taste horrible for what they are. So, let's move that off to the side. Let's open up the, the, the chocolate marshmallow Oreos. There you go, guys. That's what it looks like. So, let's open them up. And, just so you guys know, the reason I haven't put videos in, in like a couple of days, I haven't put videos in, a, in like a while, is because I've been sick for the last, the last week or two. I had the flu, then I had like a headache, and then my taste buds were just out of, out of, out of, like over everywhere. I couldn't taste the food. And then my stomach was, I mean, I wasn't hurting, but like everything I ate just like, didn't feel so, so great in my stomach, even though I could eat like normal, but I, I would not ever want anybody to feel like I did with like a big headache that felt like my eyes were about to like pop. They were burning. My eyes had, were burning and everything. So that's just it. Like my eyes were really hurting. My, my stomach wasn't that, that bad. It wasn't that at all. But every time I ate, I just felt like emptiness in my stomach. Like just, like I was just stuffing stuff in my stomach with no, nothing really to say, wow, I'm eating something good. So if you guys can hear my voice and it sounds like like dog doo doo, then it's because I I've been sick. So you guys can kind of know, get where my voice is because you've seen multiple videos of me and you hear my voice and whatever. So let's just go on with it. So I got the the chocolate marshmallow. Let's open it up. What? They're broken. So, I'm not getting that one. That definitely not... I'm not getting that one. So, here it is. Oh. Well, let me get one that's not broken. Stay open! Okay, stay open. Stay open! Here it is. So, you know the chocolate cookie? Normal. This is the chocolate stuff I'm talking about. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So there's chocolate on chocolate, but on the, uh, apparently, by how I see it, it looks like the cookies should have some kind of white stuff in it. I mean, based on this picture, look, let's just put this off to, let's just taste it first then. Wow, it's not bad. It's it's so much better than caramel coconut Oreo. Coconut Oreo just tastes weird to me. So if you hold on. So if you guys can see this, if you guys can see that, you guys can see that there's there's like little white stuff on top of the cookies. Somehow hope you guys get to see that. The white stuff on top of the cookies. There it is. If you guys don't get to see it, then I'm sorry. And let's pull out another cookie. And to be honest, I don't see the white stuff that it that it presents here. Because it showed like there was gonna be like marshmallowy stuff out of it. Now mm, I wanna make a mess. So okay, so I do get I do get that softness of the chocolate, like like it was peanut butter. And I'm not talking about the peanut butter that has the peanuts in it. I'm talking about the peanut butter that's creamy, very 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 creamy. So I I just have to say that that's. That's good. Right? That's good. It's it's good. It's good. So let me get back to this again. I don't see the I don't see the white the the white stuff that it shows. Look at. 
Well, I guess... I guess you kind of do in some of the Oreos. In some of the Oreos, you do get the white stuff in it. Like here, look. Look at that white stuff on that Oreo. If you guys can t get to see it. If you don't get to see it, I'm sorry. There it is, the white stuff on that Oreo. Other than that, I just don't see it. I'm not seeing the white stuff in the Oreo, so... Other than that, that, that was good. So now let's go back to the regular Oreos. The, the, the caramel coconut Oreos. And let's do a dipping test and see how how they how they do. So here's a dippy dippy. Here it is, dippy dippy for like ten seconds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that that's it's still pretty awful. Ah, I'm not gonna do that. So there is a dippy dippy, just one because it's just awful. So let's do a dippy with this one. Dippy dippy. So you just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So there's a dippy dippy. There it is, and then. Mmm. 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 Ah, it's so much. I don't know why. It's just so much better. Just one more, and then that's it. So, there's a dippy dippy, and that will be it. So, this is the last dippy dippy, and. Mmm. Mmm. So, what's my verdict? If you guys see caramel coconut Oreo, I'm going to say no. No. Oh, why do, now I'm starting to taste some, I'm starting to feel like that marsh, the marshmallow stuff in my mouth. But the thing is, is that it seems to be that cheap marshmallow that you get in your, in your Fruit Loops and your, your cereals. I wonder why you get that cheap kind of Oreo, I mean, that cheap kind of marshmallow in your mouth. You don't get that good kind of marshmallow. You get that weird, like, cheap, like, kind of, like, kind of like a hard rock. I mean, kind of hard marshmallow for some reason. So, my verdict on, on the caramel or coconut Oreo, that's a big pass. I wouldn't eat that again. Hell, I mean, heck no. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to say bad things, like, but if you guys want to try it, go ahead, try it, try it for yourself. I give you my own honest taste or my honest review. This was horrible. This Oreo or caramel coconut Oreo, bah. And then when it came to the chocolate marshmallow Oreos, which that's what that is, I'm like, <laughs> chocolate marshmallow Oreos, like. It's so much better, but it's not, it's so much better, but the only thing that's really bad about it is the, the, the only thing that was bad about it, hey, the only thing that was horrible about it was that the marshmallows were kind of cheap, but the, the flavor, the, the cookie, and everything was great. So, you got one and one, one for the positive and one for the negative, so. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have this drink that I'm going to be trying out for today. So, let me open it up. It is the invisible drink. And it gives you so much strength after drinking it. So, here it is. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow, it's so... It, 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 it's, 
It tastes like nothing. Wow, I can't believe it tastes like nothing. It is very, it, it, it is very clear. It is see-through. Look it. I got so much strength now. <gasps> wow, I can't believe this is the best drink I've ever had in my whole entire life. This is the invisible drink. Let me try some more. Wow, it tastes so good. It tastes like nothing. I can't believe that it tastes better than water. This thing is, is really good. It is clear, see-through. I can't even see to my hand. Look at that. It's so clear that even my hand, it, I can see my hand through it. So, it tastes good. It is called the invisible drink. And, it is one of the best drinks out there. The invisible drink. So, if you guys go to your local supermarket, you can get the invisible drink yourself. For the price of nothing. It's free. You get, you can get it, I guess you don't even have to go to the supermarket. You can just go look around your house and find the invisible drink. So, that's the best part. It's the invisible drink. The best drink on the market. Better than, than a soda. Better than, than water. Better than, than your, your, your Gatorades, your Kool-Aids, your, your Powerades. That's the best part. It's nothing. It is so good that it tastes like nothing. And it is one of the best drinks out there, so... Th that's the best part, so... If you guys want to try out the invisible drink, here it is. The invisible drink. It is so invisible that it's... Like I said, I can see my hand. So let me try some more. Go, 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 go. Wow. It's good. It's got the taste of nothing. Nothing. I, I can't believe that that's the best, that's the best drink out there. It, it, it tastes like nothing. And, and it's made of nothing. Look at it. There's nothing. So, that's the best drink out there, ladies and gentlemen. So if you guys like that, you can go and try out the invisible drink. The invisible drink that gives you muscles after drinking it you get muscles you get what else can you get you can get stronger a, a strength a stamina what else it can cure your your sleep deprivation if you have any it's one of the best drinks out there and it is totally free you don't even have to go to your own supermarket you just go and there it is there's the, the super drink that is better than a milkshake, better than a, a smoothie, better than your your vegetable smoothies or your, your fruit smoothies or your fruit milkshakes or shakes or whatever you want to call them. Better than going to your supermarket and getting getting protein shakes or getting fruits and vegetables. This is the best drink. Look at it guys. This is the best drink out there. And it is totally free. So that's the best part about it, guys. Go, go try it out. So let me start again. This is the best drink out there. It is for the price of nothing. And you can get it in this new case. See, this new case, nothing. It's so lightweight.